I'm going to show you how to do something really nice with duck breast. Duck breast is really good when you're kind of in a bit of a hurry because what you can do is fry it off on each side and then put it in the oven and allow it to finish off in the oven and as it's finishing off you can prepare all your other little bits and bobs. Okay so today we're going to serve it with some butternut squash, some oven roasted vine cherry tomatoes and a really nice tomato and balsamic sauce and then sprinkled with lots of basil. Okay so first of all what I did was I cooked off my duck. Okay, so this is your duck here. And I have two fillets this week, and what I've done is I've cooked them both because I'm going to use one in a salad another day. Okay, so what you want to do is see how nice and brown that is there and crispy. So you get your char grill here on a really, really high heat, and you want to put your duck skin side, skin side down for about five minutes to make it really nice and crispy and to render away the fat. And then turn it over for another four minutes or so. And then you want to put it in a tin, cover it with some tin foil and put it in the, in the oven for about four to five minutes. And that's going to give you a really nice medium duck. And then what you want to do is rest it for one to two minutes to allow all the juices to be absorbed back into the meat. Okay, so that's your duck. And while all that's happening, you can prepare all your other little bits and bobs. So vine, um, roasted cherry tomatoes, really simple. I just have them done here already. Just literally put them, you don't even need to oil them or anything, just put them into a nice low oven. So you can do put them in at the same time as you put the duck in and they'll cook at the same time, okay? And um, here, so I've got a few things going on. In this pan I have a half a tin of cherry tomatoes, okay? And that's all reducing down really nicely. So I'm going to add a tablespoon, two tablespoons, okay, of balsamic vinegar and you want to get that up in a really nice high heat so it will reduce down so you'll see you'll see that kind of black and red all the way through there okay hope you can see that okay so that goes back on a really nice high heat okay you're also going to put in there just about a half a teaspoon of very lazy garlic okay and get some really nice flavors going and that will reduce the weight so you can leave that and it will bubble up really nicely and the Balsamic vinegar will make this really nice syrupy consistency. So here in this pan, we've got our um, butternut squash. Okay, so I've cut it into little discs. This is about a hundred gram piece of butternut squash. And this char grill pan is the same char grill pan that I used for the duck. Okay, so you'll see there's quite a lot of liquid at the bottom there. You can kind of just see it down here. I hope you can see it. But there's literally about two tablespoons of fat in there. So I'm using that to cook the butternut squash. So I've just saute them on each side and I'm going to turn them over, okay? And the flavour of that duck fat will really, really enhance the flavour of your butternut squash. And these will only take about three to four minutes, okay? So you'll see here, this is starting to bubble really, really nicely. And the thicker your bubbles will get, the better it is and the closer you are to finishing off with this sauce, okay? so. You want to put a pinch of salt in there, okay? So that's all that is kind of coming together now and almost ready to go. So with your duck, I might do this up here so I can show you. We're going to slice up the duck really nicely. If you keep an eye on these, you can turn these down onto a nice low heat. And I'm going to get this one, this nice piece of duck here, okay? Actually, what you can also do is, you see this, all this juice that's come out of the duck, okay? That can go into your sauce. So pop that in there, and that's going to, again, it's going to bring all the flavours together and marry them really nicely. Okay, so this is your piece of duck. What we want to do is slice it on a diagonal, okay? So you see there's a little bit of pinkness in there, and that's exactly what you're looking for, depending on how you like it. If you like it a bit more rare, then absolutely go for that. Just leave it in a little bit for a little less time. Okay, so you want to slice that really nicely on the diagonal. And this will be a really nice, substantial dinner. And there are a lot of different, not a lot, but there's a few different components. But that's, you know, no reason to be put off because they all come together really, really quickly. Okay, so that's your duck done. Your sauce is almost there. So you just want to reduce that right way down, okay? So you'll see your butternut squash has some really nice bits of char grilled 
here, okay? So that's going to kind of give you another little bit of flavour, okay? So you can see here, this is bubbling away. So that's nearly ready to go. And again, it's all about marrying all these flavours together, okay? Right, so time to plate up. So this is something that you can make look really nice, okay? So you can turn this off the heat. And with our, I'm just going to lay these all on top of one another. In the centre of the plate, okay? The thing I love about butternut squash is how colourful it is and it's so, so tasty. And the sweetness of it works really, really, really well with the duck. And then you'll have the acidity coming from your balsamic vinegar which will balance this all out nicely. Okay, so you've got that there. This, keep an eye on your sauce. That's almost ready to go. So now get your duck. So I'm gonna use my fingers because it's just easier. So you just wanna lay your duck on top of your sweet potato. Okay. Really nicely, just like that. And then with your cherry tomatoes, I'm just going to lay them on this side of the plate and then with my sauce all I'm going to do is I'm not going to pour it over the duck because I want it to look nice so I'm just going to serve it on the side just like that and you'll get smell really really nice smell of balsamic vinegar okay so that's just going to give you a nice bit of moisture through there and then you just want to get some Basil, chopped basil, I've chopped up about four leaves of basil and just popped that on top and that's a really really nice substantial meal. So duck with butternut squash and a tomato and balsamic sauce.